Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Trump, Meadows, and the Department of Justice and the reporting that has come out involving those players. The general tone of the reporting is that Trump's legal team is in direct conversations with the Department of Justice. The speculation is that that has to do with him wanting to uh, protect executive privilege. We've talked about it in other videos. I, I don't expect that to go in, in Trump's favor. The other piece of news is that apparently his legal team has told him that he shouldn't really be talking to Meadows anymore. The read on that is that it's them it's them indicating their belief that Trump might be, well, held criminally liable for some things. And that Meadows may flip and cooperate with the Department of Justice to, to perhaps lessen his own criminal liability. This is the theory that is being floated all over the media. And yeah, that's a read. That is a, that's a read. It's a good read. I can't say that that's wrong. I do want to suggest something else, though. It may also be that Trump's legal team doesn't want him talking to Meadows or anybody who might be a witness because of the way Trump talks to people, because of his habit of encouraging people to provide testimony in a certain way. They may be trying to safeguard their client against, well, I mean, witness tampering charges. That may also be a reason that that's occurring. Um, now, overall, does all of this lead to the idea that Trump's legal team believes he's in criminal jeopardy? Yeah, yeah, that, that, def that, that definitely looks like what's happening, and they're trying to prepare a defense. However... As we talked about before, at this point, if they weren't actively preparing a defense ahead of time, that they wouldn't be good lawyers. They wouldn't be doing what they're supposed to do to protect their client. So I don't know how much you can read into that as far as whether their expectations reflect the, the real idea that Trump will be held criminally liable. Um, they have to proceed out of an abundance of caution. Well, they should uh, if, if they want to safeguard their client. We have seen some things in recent days with some unique behavior by different lawyers associated with right-wing people. Um, I wouldn't expect that in Trump's case. I wouldn't expect lawyers to make mistakes like that. Um, Another thing you can read into this is that the Department of Justice's investigation is speeding up. It is moving more quickly, and it is very, very comprehensive when you look at all of the different pieces they're trying to pull together and all of the different people they're talking to. This looks like a very large conspiracy case. Um, it looks like a case with a whole lot of little tentacles. And the real worry for Trump and Trump associates is that they're going to miss one of those tentacles, that they're not going to effectively cover their bases. At this point, I'm still not sure about an indictment um, because there is that concept of protecting the institution of the presidency. And whether or not I believe that an indictment against somebody who has a lot of evidence suggesting they might have engaged in criminal activity, um, whether or not I believe that is protecting the institution of the presidency doesn't matter. What matters is whether or not the people making the decisions do. And we don't know that yet. Uh, we, we don't know where they stand on that particular issue. What I do know is that the people who are running the investigation, they definitely 
seem to be closing the circle around Trump. He seems to be the central figure. Now, they might be doing that just to eliminate options, or they might have a lot of evidence that we don't know about, which is what I think is most likely, is that there's a lot of information out there one way or the other that, um, that the public isn't aware of yet. The Garland Justice Department moves quietly. And then, boom, out of nowhere, they announce what they're going to do. Does the Trump legal team talking directly to the Department of Justice, does that mean that that announcement is coming soon? We don't know. There's a lot of speculation coming from a lot of different pundits when the real answer is, assuming that everybody is even halfway doing their job, we don't have a clue. Um, So without documents, without really good sourcing who would be telling you something they shouldn't, it's all a guessing game. It is a guessing game at this point. Um, But what we do know is that it's serious. We know that it's a grand jury. We know that they're looking hard at Trump and associates. Um, So we're just going to have to wait and see what DOJ comes up with, if anything. Um, My gut tells me that there's probably going to be some pretty big news in the next 45 days or so. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.